Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. And yes, we finally have a Galaxy Note 8 in house. In fact, we have a couple of them at this point. But, anyways, it's time for us to start our coverage of this. I know there's been some reviews already out there, and a whole bunch of people have the phone. Like, pre orders actually started shipping early enough that people's arrived days ago, even though the phone isn't supposed to hit stores until September 15th. Either way, we've got one. We're going to start our coverage, which always kicks off with a uh, an unboxing. So, we are going to do it. And then we'll ramp up to, you know, some of those tips and tricks and all that stuff before we get to the full review. But again, we got to get this started the right way. This is a big deal. Let's go ahead and unbox the Galaxy Note 8. So the packaging here is obviously familiar. It's It says Note 8. Oh, there should be a space there, Samsung. There should be a space there. Uh, this is the Verizon model. Um, and the, the packaging from one carrier to the next actually isn't going to change much. Samsung's really just shipping one version of the phone to everyone now. And, and we, that's great. We've moved past the individual carrier model since I think back towards the Galaxy S5 or so. Anyways, in the box, you have the Note 8, a SIM card, a wall charger, USB connector in case you need to do that transfer. It does come with those AKG earbuds that we saw in the Galaxy S8, a USB connector, reference guide, some other stuff. And this is Verizon LTE Advanced. Um, oh, there's a picture of the S Pen. Since this is a Note, we do have a shiny S Pen. This is a midnight black version of the phone. That's pretty much it in terms of packaging. Uh, and on and this one, actually, Verizon isn't even including the sticker we have to cut. So I don't even get to pull the knife out, but uh, well, Samsung logo there. You guys have seen this a bunch. So uh, let's bust into this. So there is the phone and uh, we will set that we will set that aside yes we will so uh in the uh we can get into this so there is the cutout for the dual cameras and uh, I, I know that's, that's not a big deal either um here's some other stuff this looks sounds like guides and then that's also your sim removal tool in case you need to pop sim out that's also how you get to your sd card um also in the box here so much stuff so these are the these are the S Pen tips. So you've got some extra S Pen tips in here. And uh, this is the tool that you use to grab the little guy and yank those out. So don't lose this in case you break some S Pen tips. Here is your USB type C cable in this package here. And then here are those AKG earbuds, which you can see the AKG logo right there. So headphone jack, these are not type C headphones. They're actual real, real headphones that don't need any special thingies. Um, here is your fast charger and like the s8 we're back to the uh, all black here so black charger black cables all that stuff i have no idea what's in here oh here is your uh, usb type c tip that you can use on other cables so it's a type c tip that plugs onto a micro usb cable in case you have some old cables you want to use and then here is your um, usb cable that you essentially attach to another phone in case you want to uh, transfer some things over so lots of stuff in the box samsung so the phone starts at 930 bucks i can't remember how much it is at verizon but samsung does include just about everything you could ever want so I, you tell me if the price is justified there so anyway here is the phone and uh, this is Midnight Black. It also comes in uh, Orchid Gray. And again, that's Orchid. I know the last time people were like, what? People actually said Orchid? And yes, people actually were calling it Orchid Gray. A uh, really, really thin sticker on here. Set that over there and one on the back. One thing I will already say that I appreciate, and I don't know if it's like this with all carrier variants, but this is the only little sticker that's going to be a pain on here. Instead of that big one that has like your IMEI and all that stuff, this is all we got. It's like a little... QR-ish code. And you know I can't move forward with stickers on here, so we are going to struggle with this for a minute. Oh, this is a doozy. And that didn't come off at all. Ah, it's going to bug me the whole video. All right, so Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Uh, run through the specs while we fire this beast up here. There we go, Galaxy Note 8. So Android 7.1.1 Nougat. It's not running 8.0 Oreo. You guys shouldn't have expected it to. 6.3 inch quad HD, super AMOLED plus full vision, not full vision, sorry, infinity. LG is the full vision guy. This is uh, infinity display. So big old display, that's 0.1 inches larger than the uh, Galaxy S8 Plus. So actually not that much bigger in terms of size and display, but it is a little bit bigger. You still got that Snapdragon 835 processor on the inside. So not an upgrade to some mysterious 836 that doesn't exist or anything like that. So same same processor as the S8 S8 Plus. You have 64 gig storage in here with an SD card slot for more. 
six gig RAM. So that is a bump up from the S8s and last year's notes. You do have six gig RAM in this guy, 3,300 milliamp hour embedded battery. So the battery is not large by any means. It's not on the upper scale, I should say, of largeness, um, but that is a decent size. And we do have some efficiency work in here from Samsung. So hopefully that'll last you throughout today. You also have fast wired and wireless charging in this phone, just like you have on many Samsung phones here in a row. Uh, quick charge 2.0 though, not 3.0 or 4.0, which is kind of odd. Uh, so up top though, we do have that dual camera setup. So dual cameras are both 12 megapixel sensors. One is a, I should say a telephoto and one they're calling wide angle, although it's not quite as wide as say like LG's dual camera setup. They both have optical image stabilization, which is actually pretty impressive and should be able to take some really, really nice photos. Um, up front, you do have an eight megapixel autofocus F1.7 camera. So we're fully decked out here on this phone. It's got all the specs you could ask for. Um, fingerprint reader there in the worst possible spot. I, th I think when the S8 and SA Plus came out and they had this terrible rear fingerprint reader, I didn't think anyone would ever top them. But this phone being as large as it is, I just it's just insane what Samsung is thinking there. But that's what it is. And part of that is because, well, you don't have any uh, physical buttons on this phone either, just like you didn't on the SA and SA Plus. So we're on screen buttons here, just like those phones. Uh, if you don't like that, I'm sorry. That's just where Samsung is gone and probably where they're going to continue to go. You also have IP68 water and dust resistance. So the phone is it's not waterproof, but you can definitely take it under some water and it should be fine for a while. Heart rate sensor. It's got an iris scanner. It does facial recognition. It is the Galaxy Note 8. You guys know plenty about this. We've already done hands-on tours of it. Um, if we do sort of a walk around the outside, again, you have the dual camera setup, heart rate sensor, flash, fingerprint reader. Um, if we look down here at the bottom, you do have that USB type C port. There is your headphone jack. Thank you for putting that on the bottom and including one Samsung. Um, here is your S pen. So a little click there pulls that S pen out. I don't know that there's actually that many upgrades here to this S pen. Um, it does have some new software functionality, but this could very well be the same S pen that we got in last year's note seven, but it is there and you know, S pens are useful to some. Um, so, click that back in. So on this right side, you do have a power lock switch. And then on this left side, you have volume rocker. And that is a Bixby button. So Bixby is of course back. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. That is Bixby. Um, up top, you don't have much other than this really ugly Qualcomm sticker that's always there. And then this is your SIM SD card tray. So again, that tool in the box, you just stick in that little pinhole, eject that, and that's where you get to your SIM and if you want to throw in an SD card slot. And that's pretty much it for a tour of the outside. Uh, I'm not going to walk through the software because this is just an unboxing. We're not going to really dive through that. We'll have plenty more of that uh, before long. So anyways, just been a quick unboxing of the Galaxy. Look at all those fingerprints already. So gross. Anyway. It's just been a quick unboxing of the Galaxy Note 8. If you guys have comments, questions, or there's anything really in particular wants to dive into, we will certainly do that. Otherwise, we are Droid Life. Peace.